Well, over the course of the last few years, DLMT has been shaping the future of the house music scene. He got signed to the Dimac label recently and dropped his debut EP with them called Restart. And just a few weeks ago, his collaboration with Afrojack, Wish You Were Here, was released. Maria T is a shuffle dancer who goes by Maria Moves on Instagram and spoke with him about his music and how he got started. One thing that I really noticed uh, when just kind of like diving into who you are and your music, you stand by the saying, music that moves. And I really resonate with that because I'm totally a movement enthusiast. I'm a dancer, I actually shuffle and really? the video to your song, One Drink, and it just like, Max, it was so good. I love that. Did I did I comment on that or see that video? I don't know if you saw it. Um, I'll send it to you. Let's be my DMs. Yeah, I'll check it out. Yeah. So before we talk about the EP, I just want to know your musical background. I know it's in. You have drums in there, and I saw metal. Yeah. Were you yeah, raised in a musical family, or did yeah, you just exactly. like so from when I was a young age? I took piano, tried guitar. Um, finally ended up in drums and ended up in a metal band, which okay. completely switched from what I'm in now. Well, that kind of started, kickstarted my whole musical like career, right? And I think my music now is very drum and bass like heavy because of that musical background, right? So Dimac is new. You signed this year with that record label. Yes. Yes. So we actually, we just signed for the EP and the EP is done now. So, I mean, hopefully looking forward to working with more of them more in the future. And then in three days, I actually have a track dropping with Afrojack, which is pretty cool. I saw that. Oh my God. Yeah. Afrojack is one of the reasons why I started to love the scene. It started so, one of the reasons I started making music. So it's pretty cool to work with. Oh, that's amazing. Music, right? yeah. oh my goodness. It's so cool to, to see that come full circle, right? Like, exactly. You're, you're yeah. The people that you're starting to collab with and really. Very cool. Out. Yeah. To get the recognition from the artist that, you know, I grew up listening to is very cool. Wow. So. That is just. You know why you do it, right? Like that's the reason. I do it for the love of music, to be honest. I don't do it for like you know the 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 clout or the you know wow. the, the fame or something. I just I've I've always loved music, and I just started doing it. I was working in engineering before I started all this, which is a complete okay. different switch. And uh, it was kind of my hobby on the side, and you know people ended up loving the music I love, like I was making. And you know I I just do it because I love it. A lot of people love that video that i made with your song and i noticed people from all over the u.s were commenting i love that song like i know that song so it was cool it's crazy how that song is it came out last i think february and it's still going crazy because i've been seeing actually like a resurgence of all these people doing these shuffle videos recently to it i'm like what the heck like it's crazy <laughs> i think the the whole premise music that moves as well as is, is i you know i kind of want music I want to create music that moves you on like a personal level as well as like on the dance floor, right? So I think it, it's it's not just necessarily like dancing to it. It's also like that every single song can, you know, every listener can interpret it very differently, right? Yeah, the lyrics are also very powerful. All yeah, the names very are lyrical powerful. based. And the new EP, um, Restart, Elevate, In Your Mind, Love the Way You Move. Yes, all yes. are amazing, and just the title is is inspiring in itself, and that yes, is. Well, I think yeah. the the whole premise of that EP was based on. It, it's been a very weird time in COVID right now, you know, with like kind of no one knows what's going to happen with this whole year. You know, I I wasn't expecting I was going to be touring or traveling or, you know, how to deal with. I was learning how to even deal with this whole um, how like finding inspiration during quarantine. And all this COVID stuff. So I think it's for a lot of people, not even just in the music scene. I think for a lot of people, it's it's been a time of finding ourselves again and learning how to, you know, live our lives differently. And, and you know, a lot of people have had time off that they've been able to find themselves and do hobbies and you know all these different things and like li technically restart, right? So that's kind of where the idea of the whole EP came from. So it kind of came at the perfect time, I think. So the EP, you know, just the creative process of creating it. How long? would you say that took for you? Well, I started the first track. So I, I signed with Dimac back in February or January, some of that. And the first track came out actually, um, it was the first one was Freak and that came out in March, I believe. Yeah. So I was supposed to go to, or no, April, early April. I was It was supposed to come out right before my music week, but that's when that was all canceled due to COVID. And that was one of my favorite weeks of the year, but that unfortunately didn't happen. So fingers crossed next year that happens, but... Um, so that track came up first and it was 
when we signed to Dimac, we knew we were going to do this EP, but we didn't know how it was going to turn out. We didn't, you know, we, I didn't have the final title track of the EP yet. Um, and then the next track was Elevate. And it, I wanted to go more of a clubby route, this, um, this EP, which is kind of ironic because I'm not playing in clubs at all right now. So it's, I'm surprised, you know, it, it, it turned out really well, um, but it's, it, you know, I'm, I'm very happy with how it came out. So Nice. It honestly feels, when I play the EP, I feel like I'm ready to go. I'm bumping. I know. I wish I could play it live right now, but I can't, right? So it's very unfortunate. <laughs> It's, everyone is patiently waiting for the next show so we can hear your stuff live. That I know. I'm, I'm, I'm luckily, well, fingers crossed, I'm, I'm supposed to be playing a, a, a drive-in show in Montreal next month, I think October 10th. So that's going to be the okay. first time I'm actually playing this music live, which is pretty exciting. Oh, uh, well, Dan, it's been amazing to talk to you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Answering all my questions. Um, I'm definitely going to send you that video. Yeah, send it to me. I want to check that out for sure. I love that. <laughs>